What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening a bunch more MRL. I think we have 20 total packs of Magic Ruler Original Print. We're gonna try and redeem ourselves from that last one where we had terrible ratios. We also have two first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare. These have actually sold out on Ruxa34.com. I still have more Magic Ruler, Pharaoh's Servant, Labyrinth of Nightmare Unlimited, Legacy of Darkness Unlimited. So you can check those out there, Ruxa34.com. And let's get into the opening. Hopefully this one's better than the last time. We also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three original prints, super rare. So since we're opening original packs, original giveaway. So all you have to do, like the video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite pull from the video. I hope we have a lot to choose from. We are going to start out with Ryan B. He got five packs. So we're hoping to pull something big. Last time we pulled the Relinquished, but not much else. So we're hoping that we pull... Uh, another relinquished or we could pull the serpent night dragon that would be pretty awesome i believe that's what these packs are not totally sure because we have not pulled a secret rare yet so let's see if we can do that here we have the dark witch the curse of fiend the snake fang crab turtle the legend himself and what else can we get the arkansas razorbacks guardian of the throne room labyrinth of nightmare liquid beast wait Labyrinth Wall. Well, I'm not Labyrinth of Nightmare. <laughs> We're about to open some Labyrinth of Nightmare, but that's what I was getting confused about. Okay. Second pack. Magic Ruler Original Print. Can we pull something epic? Let's see what we can do, guys. So, I want to mention that when we open these original packs, the near mint price that pops up for foils is usually really low. So, the reason for that is, one, it's near mint price on TCG Player versus mint condition out of a pack. Usually, if you pull a card out of a pack, it's mint condition. Sometimes, it's not. But mint condition is worth quite a bit more than near mint for original print cards. Secondly, that price is probably for Magic Ruler, a reprint card. They did reprint Magic Ruler in 2017, 2013, 2010, all those times. But these are 2002, so 2002 has better value than those cards. But because they don't differentiate on TCG Player, I just go with the lowest price. So the price is a little bit higher, probably a lot higher than what you see. Like that Relinquish was like 7 bucks last time. It's probably more like 20, maybe even more. If you grade it, it's definitely more than that. Over $100 for sure if you got it 10. I would say probably like $300. Just a guesstimate. It's hard to find original print sales, but that's what I would guess, something like that. So keep that in mind for when the, the pulls, like the, the amount is super low. Because obviously someone is going to pay more than $7 for an original print mint condition relinquished. We'll have one nuzzler. We got an ancient one of the deep forest. Firecracking. Here we go. Heels and Rue. We've got a nice rare upstart goblin. That is a good pull. So that's a good common card to get in there. Darkness approaches. We can flip our attack monsters face down. Very weird. Okay. Third pack. Ryan B. Let's get him something good. Come on. Here we go. We have a Magical Labyrinth. Dark Zebra. Red Archery Girl. Malevolent Nuzzler. Let's get something epic here. Come on. Nimble Momonga. All right. Spear Cretan. Weather Report. And another Upstar Goblin. So two and three packs. That is pretty good. We're still looking for a foil though. So the ratios are probably, they're one out of six for super rares and one out of 12 for ultras. So that averages out to, to about one out of five. So we should hopefully get one foil out of these five. Here we go. Mystic Plasma Zone. We got a Whiptail Crow. Performance of Sword. Giant Turtle Who Feeds on Flames. Here we go. We've got a Giant Trunade. There's our first foil of the video. The surface looks pretty nice on it. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. This is a lot different than like a near mint. Near mint can go to a lot. It can be a much worse condition and still be considered near mint because it's near to mint, but it's not mint. This would be considered mint. So the centering is not perfect on this. It might be able to squeak by if you graded it, maybe get a 10, but they are pretty tough these days. So nine or 10 quality. So pretty decent value there. Giant Trunade is an, a classic. There's the Guardian of Throne Room and his little brother or the uh, slot machine is little brother. Final pack for Ryan. So he has gotten one out of four so far with two upstarts. So not a terrible little opening. Not a terrible opening. We would love to go two for five though. That would be above ratio. That would be good to see. Here we go. We've got a crab turtle. we got a snake fang. Here we go. Peacock. Wall shadow. A classic. You got to love that guy. He looks really good. And. <laughs> Giant Trunade back to back. The centering is really good on this one. Okay, wait. Maybe a tiny bit thicker on the top. This guy is definitely within the range of... I think this would be a PSA 10 if you sent it. That is a really nice pull. 
Okay, double supers. Unfortunately, it's a double, but that is a pretty good super rare to get a double of. So two giant true nates. That's pretty awesome. Ceremonial Bell, October Sir, and the Hungry Birder to top it off. That's a pretty good five packs for Ryan. We're definitely doing better than the last Magic Ruler video. Next up, we have Jesse P with one Labyrinth of Nightmare first edition pack. Let's see what we can pull here. All right, can we get an epic foil? First edition cards. We have Swordsman of Landstar. We've got the Bait Doll, the Forgiving Maiden, Mask of Weakness, and a Spirit Message A. So we got a Spirit Message. At least it's not the L to rub it in our face. Lighting Conger and Dancing Fairy. Okay, at least we got, I would say, the best pull. Swordsman of Landstar. I love that guy. Unfortunately, no foil, though. Our second Labyrinth of Nightmare pack. This one's for Hashin J. Let's see if we can get him something good. These have been sold out. Some of them were bought sealed, so we're not we're not going to see what happened with those. And some were opened on Whatnot, so you guys can check out that video. We had the Whatnot video. Wow, check out this last card, guys. That is, that's straight up ding. That is unfortunate. It is a good thing that is just a common. That is really unfortunate. We've got a Dragonic Attack. Spherous Lady. Let's get something good. Here we go. Tornado Wall. Shining Abyss. Come on. Jalgen the Spiritualist. This guy always pops up. Aqua Spirit and Skull Lair. Oh my goodness. The final 15 go to Ivan. Ivan has bought several things. He got like five MRD packs in the first edition stream. Check out that stream. It was crazy. Metal Raiders first edition box was open. That was awesome. So we have 15 packs. We're hoping to get him like a secret rare, maybe a couple ultras. Something would be, I mean, two ultras would be really good, but we would love to do that. Maybe we can even get two ultras and a secret. That's like a, the ultimate goal. It's like box ratio. Whoa, what in the world? This one has damage too. The Magical Labyrinth got hit right in the middle. Wow. All right, we have Dark Zebra, Red Archery Girl, Malevolent Nuzzler, and the Manga Ryu Ran, the October Star, the Hungry Burger, and the Metal Fish. Oh my goodness. Wow, two packs in a row with damage cards. Hopefully that does not keep up. All right, let's get something good here, guys. Let's get a good pull. We've got a Chain Energy. We would love to see Serpent Knight. That'd be cool. High Tide Eugen, Boar Soldier. Hamburger Recipe, and Horn of the Unicorn, a classic House of Adhesive Tape. I always love this Ryu Ran. I don't know why I liked it so much. I just thought it looked cool. An Egg Dragon. I don't know why I thought that was so cool. Okay, third pack. Let's get something epic, guys. If you guys are interested in buying packs, just check out Ruxin34.com, and uh, I can open them for you, or you can keep them sealed. If you want to keep them sealed, make sure you send me a message so that I know. All right, Final Destiny. We got a Penguin Knight. Eat Gaboon. Queen Bird. And a Shining Angel. These got there's so many of these searcher guys. There's another Ryu Ran. And a Weather Report. Classic. I think Upstart's the card right after Weather Report. So we were one away from getting an Upstart. Okay. Come on. Secret Rare, guys. Secret Rare in the comments for luck. Make sure you get send that good luck. Here we go. Magical Labyrinth. The Dark Zebra. Red Archery Girl. Here we go. Cyber Jar. That's a good rare. You love to see it. Turtle O, Twin Long Rods, and Kotodama. Whew, here we go. Magic Ruler. Let's do this. Come on, let's pull something good. We've only hit Giant True Nades today. Let's get something else. Magical Labyrinth, Dark Zebra, Luminous Spark, Senju of the Thousand Hands, Sonic Burger, and Tyone. Oh my, these are the weirdest MRL packs. All right, come on. We just need a Seeker Rare. Come on. Secret Rare Serpent Knight Dragon. Whew. Let's go. Snake Fang. We got a Peacock. Wall Shadow. Stone Ogre Grotto. A behemoth shaped by giant boulders. And, oh, Ruxin Special. Toon Mermaid Ultra Rare. There we go. Oh, wait, it's a misprint. Check this out. It's shifted down MRL. The uh, set code is shifted down, and the number in the bottom is shifted down. Basically, the whole thing, it seems like, is shifted. All of this stuff right here, the Kazuki Takahashi, and then it's off-centered. So it's like, that's a wacky-looking ultra rare. That's really cool, actually. Toon Mermaid Ultra Rare. That is so cool. Finally, we broke the, the long streak. We hadn't pulled anything for Ivan yet. That's a great pull. It has a little bit of a misprint, too. you love to see that. We've had a ton of misprints out of these uh, Pharaoh Servant and MRL packs so far. That's We had the Reverse Foil Imperial Order out of Pharaoh Servant, and now we have this with the Shifted Down. I have seen this before, but it's somewhat uncommon. I have only pulled it something like this once. 
besides this. So this is really cool. Okay, so we still have seven packs left. We've only pulled an ultra, but it wasn't misprinted ultra. Hopefully we can get a secret rare. Who needs supers? Just get like a secret couple ultras. It'd be crazy. Okay, we've got the Griggle. Come on, guys. We've got the final destiny. I want to see if any of these commons are shifted like this. Penguin Knight. We've got an Eat Gaboon. And a Mystic Tomato. Twin Long Rods and the Slot Machine. Okay. Nothing too crazy in that one. Let's go to the next pack. That Toon Mermaid was super cool. Hopefully we can get something else cool like that. Okay. Queen Bird. We've got the Gravekeeper's Servant. Whip Tail Crow. Performance of Sword. That is a really cool card if you think about it. It's just pretty cool. And a Karate Man. Weather Report. Upstart. See, I knew it. Right after Weather Report is Upstar Goblin. And Minar. That The commons seem to come in the same order. Probably cut on the sheet or whatever. Okay. Magic Ruler. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's get some good. We've got a Hamburger Recipe. Psychic Kappa. Griggle. Final Destiny. Here we go. Manga Rai, you ran Spear Cretan. Weather Report Upstart Goblin. Another Upstart Goblin. That's a good one. Okay, I think I miscounted. We still have five packs left. All right, come on. One, well, Only one foil out of these 15. So we need to... Or out of these 10. So let's get something good. High Tide Gyojin. Boar Soldier. We got the Hamburglar Recipe. Psychic Kappa. And an Arkansas Razorbacks. All right, another one. All right, guys. So we've pulled three total foils out of MRL. We definitely should be expecting another one, right? We should, sure. We got to beat last... Well, we already beat last time. Last time I had two foils. All right, we have Whiptail Crow. We got the Performance of Sword. Giant Turtle Who Feeds on Flames. Magical Labyrinth. And Invader of the Throne. There we go. I knew we were due for one. Super Rare. Centered. Very good. Very good centering. Back is flawless. This, If this isn't a PSA 10, I'm trying to think. Maybe... Yeah, that should be a PSA 10. Invader of the Throne, Magic Ruler, Super Rare. What does this do? Select one opponent's monster, switch control of it with this card. Cannot be activated during the battle phase. But it's a flip. Yeah, I guess so, like when they attack into it. Huh, so yeah, it takes a turn to set up. So it's not horrible, but interesting. Turtle Oath, Twin Long Rods. Man, look at how badly cut these Magic Ruler are. Wow, that's crazy. The Twin Long Rods, misprint. Okay, so two foils. We're hoping for a third one for sure out of these 15. Hopefully, it will be a Serpent Night Dragon. So far, we have not seen one of the Magic Ruler packs. Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. We got a Magical Labyrinth. What is that? Man, these packs have all kinds of weird, like, misprint things. It's just like a little line. Dark Zebra. Red Archery Girl. And Mother Grizzly. October Sir Hunger Burger. Hunger Burger. <laughs> Hungry Burger. And the Commencement Dance. All right, two more packs, guys. Here we go. Two pulls so far. Let's get something else. Let's get something else epic. All right. Wall Shadow. We got a Stone Ogre Grotto. Taylor the Fickle. Chain Energy. Come on, let's get something. Ooh, a Black Illusion Ritual. That's pretty nice. The Relinquished Superman. These are very clean. Okay, the back is really nice. The front looks really good. The centering is a little bit off this way, but definitely has a chance at a 10 as well. So these have definitely had very good grading potential for the most part, which is nice. So that'll bring the value up a ton. So you got to keep that in mind. So now three foils, five total for the Magic Ruler. That's about ratio. So there we go. We're finally hitting the ratio on Magic Ruler. Um, if we had another one here, that's big. So it came back at the end. It started off pretty slow for those. Okay, final pack of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video if you guys have enjoyed it and subscribe for more epic old school openings. We're going to have some crazy ones coming up. We've got Dark Zebra. Tonight we're doing a whatnot auction. It's going to be pretty awesome. So check out the link in the description below and we're, we're going to be selling some singles. We also have Pharaoh Servant Booster Box opening coming on whatnot. It's going to be crazy. So here we go. Luminous Spark, come on. Red Archery Girl. And Sinju. Is that a place that is Sinju? And weather report. All right, okay. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. That was a lot more fun when you pull some stuff out of Magic Ruler. They look like some good grading potential. If you guys are interested in buying some packs, we still haven't pulled a secret rare out of there yet. So that's pretty exciting. Check out Ruxin34.com. Also, if you want to see the first edition Pharaoh Servant box auction on whatnot, as well as singles being auctioned tonight, check out my link in the description or pinned in the comment. Whatnot. Follow me there. Follow the uh, the show or whatever it's called. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Dark Monsters Turn! Have their goal! Oh my god! Hey,
Oh my goodness. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh! 